Hello friends. My name is Mrs. Randall and today we are going to learn how to write a summary. First, you may want to know what it means to summarize. Summarizing is telling the important events or ideas in a story in your own words. When we write a summary, we use few words to give the most important part of a story. To organize your summary, you can use the model, somebody, wanted, but, so, and then. Somebody, who is the main character. Wanted, what does the main character want? But, what is the problem? So, how does the character try to solve the problem? And then, how does the story end? Okay friends, I'm going to tell you a story and then following the story, we are going to summarize the story together using the model, somebody, wanted, but, so, then. It was a beautiful snowy day and Jalen could not wait to get off the school bus, walk home, and put his things down so he could go outside to play in the snow with his friends. Jalen and his friends, Ahmad, Jin, and Carlos stopped to discuss their plans. So, where do you guys want to meet up? Let's all meet up at the playground. Okay. Jalen entered the kitchen as his mother was cooking dinner. Hello mama. Hi Jalen, how was your day son? It was great. Did you see all the snow outside? Yes, it is beautiful. May I go outside and play in it with Maud, Jen, and Carlos? Please mom. Sure Jalen, but after you finish your homework first. But mama, I don't have any homework today. Are you sure Jalen? Yes mama, I'm positive. My teacher didn't give us any. Okay, as long as you're back in time for dinner. Jalen and his friends met up at the park just as they planned. Jalen, Carlos, and Ahmad had fun riding their sleds while Jin made a snowman. The four of them continued to play until they realized it was getting late and Jalen remembered his mom told him to be back in time for dinner. Jalen waved goodbye to his friends as they all headed home. When Jalen walked in, he heard his mother talking on the phone. Yes Mrs. Cosby. I will take care of it and you will not have that problem again. When Jalen heard his mom say the name Mrs. Cosby, he froze. Mrs. Cosby was his math teacher. Jalen tried to sneak past his mom and go upstairs. Stop right there mister. I just hung up the phone with Mrs. Cosby who was concerned about your struggles in math especially since you failed your math quiz today. She was calling to make sure I helped you with tonight's homework assignment so that you can make a better grade on your test Friday. Which is strange because you told me you didn't have any homework. So, you know what this means, you are grounded and you will not get the video game you wanted for Christmas. Now go eat your dinner, do your homework, and go to bed when you are done. Jalen did as he was told. However, as Jalen attempted to complete his homework assignment he could barely stay awake because he was tired from all the playing he did with his friends. When Jalen got to school the next day, Mrs. Cosby asked him to stay after class so she could speak with him about his incomplete homework assignment. Jalen, I am very disappointed that you did not complete your homework assignment last night. I gave you that for extra practice to help you pull up your math grade. Today is Wednesday, you have two more days until your big math test on Friday. I am going to give you some more worksheets for extra practice. It is up to you to do the right thing. You have to put first things first and work before you play. Yes ma'am. I promise I will complete all of my work. Mrs. Cosby, thank you for giving me another chance. That afternoon when Jalen and his friends got off the bus, Ahmad asked the question. Are we going to meet up at the playground later? No. I can't play today. I have homework to do. I have to pull my math grade up or my mom said I won't get the game I really wanted for Christmas. The next day, Jalen told his friends the same thing when they asked if he wanted to meet up at the playground. He was determined to make a good grade on his math test Friday. When Jalen's mom got in from work she smiled because she was so happy to see him working so hard. 
Jalen was completing all of his homework assignments. She was proud of the effort he was putting into improving his math grade. Friday came and Mrs. Cosby asked Jalen to stay after class so she could discuss his test grade. Jalen waited anxiously to see if his hard work paid off. Jalen, I am very proud of you. You made a perfect score of 100 on your test. I'll call your mother and give her the good news. I'm sure she will be very proud of your progress. Christmas morning finally arrived and Jalen was enjoying playing with his gifts he got for Christmas when his mom came in with one more gift. Son, I'm so proud of you for working hard to pull your math grade up. I knew you could do it if you tried hard enough. I have something special for you. Jalen was overjoyed. It was the game he wanted. Thanks mama. You're the best mom in the world. Okay friends. Now let's summarize the story using our somebody. Wanted. Two. But. So. And then graphic organizer to guide us. First, let's answer the question for somebody. Who was the main character in the story? The main character was Jalen. Second, let's answer the question for wanted. What did Jalen want? Jalen wanted a new video game for Christmas. Next, let's answer the question for but, what is the problem? The problem is Jalen was grounded because he did not complete his homework assignment and he was not doing well in math. Next, let's answer the question for so, how was the problem solved? Jalen worked hard to pull his math grade up and made an A plus on his test. Finally, we will answer the question for then, what happened at the very end? His mom bought him the video game he wanted for Christmas. Now, let's put it all together. Jalen wanted a new video game for Christmas but, he was grounded because he did not do his homework and was not doing well in math. So, Jalen worked hard to pull his math grade up and made an A plus on his test. Then, his mom bought him the video game he wanted for Christmas. Great job friends! Today you learned how to write a summary. I hope to see you again soon. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more instructional videos and remember to keep learning and growing.